Oh, I didn't know they sell name tags here. Oh my god, that's me. Yes, I'm a you're bitch. A Lulu. Thank, you. Thank you. Hi. E. Which one? I paid two dollars for this. Alright, so checking out the only subreddit for rolling a nat 20 can land you a night with the horrific but very much thick dragon. It's r slash DD memes. More thick dragons, damn it! Oh my god! What is this? Cookboss88 venturing into a subreddit that isn't exactly furry related? <sighs> the scandal. Actually, no. <laughs> uh, I can't keep. You know, I can't keep spamming r slash furry IRL every day for a video. And, uh, you know, it DND memes, DND in general is actually kind of interesting to me. I've always wanted to play it, and I can't seem to find an actual group that plays t the tabletop version. It's always some online thing, and, you know, it. I, I, I learn more when it's, you know, in front of me. It's right in front of me, okay? If, if you guys know, like, you know, um, a place where I can play it, you know, just, it, just suggest me, okay, suggest me a place. But yeah, we are, today we are gonna go look at D&D &D memes, Mostly, most of them are furry related, but you know, it's, uh, it's gonna be fun, let's go. Inside you, there are two wolves, you rolled a well on anal- <laughs> <laughs> This is the first meme, god damn it! <laughs> you gotta be, you gotta be like a form of very messed up dungeon master to have this as a trait for one of your players. <laughs> like, what, what are you even gonna need this for? I mean, yeah, it, it told me, it told me it <laughs> to take two wolves up your ass. But what practical use does it have? Like, how is it gonna benefit your party? I wanna know. Calling them tabaxi. Tabaxi? Tabaki? Tabaki. Calling them Kajit. Calling them cats. Calling them kitties. Oh, yes. Uh, I, I've, I actually uh, searched this up a little bit um, earlier. And apparently the backsies, I don't know how to pronounce that. You know, someone in the comment section will tell me uh, how to pronounce it pro properly. But these creatures apparently are like cat creatures. They're feline species that you can play as in D&D. In &D. And uh, calling them kitties, yeah, that's accurate. You know, that, 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 that's accurate. And calling them Gajit, that's actually a lot more accurate. You know, Skyrim and stuff. But uh, yeah, these uh, apparently... That the fact that I didn't know of, um, there are different species in D and D species that you can actually play as, which is actually pretty cool. Uh, so when a druid wild sheep and then have sex with an animal, is it still considered bestiality? Who the frick starts a conversation like that? I just sat down. Mmm. Eat. Mmm. Do I? I don't know. I don't know. This this is the curse of me not knowing how D and D works. Like. Look, what the hell is a druid? What the hell is wild shape? Okay, I know what a druid kinda is. It's a magic user. It that that you know that uh, has like um, a very very close connection to the, to nature and wilderness. That's where they stem their power from. But mm, uh, this, this is a very questionable meme. I don't know. Check out this bad boy. Tabaki with plus two dexterity, one plus charisma. Eight levels of rogue, swashbuckler archetype, and three levels of bard, college of glamour. Dungeon master. Wow, what are you gonna use it for? Hit on the waitresses. <laughs> I mean, what else are you gonna use it for, huh? It's not like you're gonna you're gonna kill a a, a, a dragon with a tabaki, you know? Just let them flirt with the waitress. See what happens. Seduction doesn't have to be sexual. You can seduce a dragon with a promise of knowledge, adventure, or hedonism. He's out of line, but he's right. See, that's actually kind of true. You know, not even in Dungeons and Dragons, but even in general. You know, for example, me. If you want to seduce me and, you know, not have, you know, the naughties uh, in the future, uh, you can seduce me with a piece of cheesecake. You know, I, I don't have to necessarily sleep with you, but you I will definitely like you afterwards. Every time the furry plays D&D. Twas I who fricked the dragon. <laughs> he sounds so indignant as well. Jesus Christ. 
<laughs> I feel like when I, you know, eventually do find a group that is willing to take me in and uh, show me the ropes on how to play d and I would probably be the only furry there who actually wants to screw uh, anything. Anything. It doesn't have to be necessarily a dragon. Like, Dungeon Master says that there's like a, a, a minotaur uh, right in front of us. I will roll... I will roll the dice for seduction. I don't care what number it lands on. I just have to seduce something. <laughs> Shifters are furries. The Maxis are furries. Minotaurs are furries. Centaurs are furries. Centaurs are insects. I mean, kinda? I mean, they do have- they technically do have six limbs, so... Maybe? That's a very scary thought. Suddenly, he turns into a werewolf. What the party sees. What the bard sees. Grab my belly. Okay, so as I come to understand it, the bard is the one that does the seducing, right? Right? Because, you know, it's it's always, always the bard in memes like this that seem to seduce everything. And I kind of see it that, I kind of I kind of see it, you know, I kind of see the, uh, the logic between it. Bards sing, they write poems, they write songs that, you know, entrance creatures into listening to them. I think I just found out what my class is gonna be when I eventually join a group. It's a bard. I'm a bear bard. I'm gonna be singing bard songs. Do you not know that the Beckys are bad at oral sex and fingering due to their feline traits? Who the hell asked? This is my favorite subreddit. R slash D and D memes. <laughs> God, I wanna get fricked by a, to death by a dragon. <laughs> I'm not a scaly though. No way. <laughs> uh, uh, I, I, I don't know him. <laughs> oh god. Uh, <laughs> I can't. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, screwing a dragon. It's just, you know, it's just one of those things that I feel like happen on a daily basis. When it comes to playing D and D, so at some point in your campaign, someone, probably the bard, is going to attempt to seduce a dragon, and more often than not, he rolls a nat twenty, and uh, he actually ends up impregnating the dragon. So, <laughs> it's just part of the culture. At some point, it's not a meme anymore. It is part of the culture. It is standard procedure for a bard to seduce a dragon and eventually impregnate it. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of r slash dnd memes. This is a very, very enjoyable subreddit. Even though I have no, you know, uh, no idea how to play dnd or how it works, but you know, it's a fun thing. Uh, I, I might come back here depending on how much views this is, this is gonna get. But uh, yeah, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna end it here. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, all that jazz. Follow me on Twitter, check with me on Discord, support me on Patreon, and on Coffee, and check out my merch. And don't forget to check me out on TikTok as well. Uh, this has been your fellow degenerate cook boss 88, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Uh, stay foxy, much love.